about 18% of nearly 320,000. That's the number of federal employees who have taken any one of three Indigenous sensitivity courses offered by the public service. The NDP asked for the numbers recently, and MP Lori Idlout says they are disappointing but not surprising, since the training is not a job requirement. One of the terms that I've unfortunately had to say whenever it comes to Indigenous issues is that we're forced to experience incremental justice. And this is just one of those areas where uh, the federal government uh, is just making changes incrementally. Educating public servants on Indigenous history and colonialism is one of the TRC's calls to action. Public Service Alliance Canada President Chris Aylward says the union wanted to make such training a mandatory part of the collective agreement, but was told no by the federal government. And we were uh, just outright refused by Treasury Board. They said no. They, and, and the reason, the rationale for saying no was that this is already happening. And, and as you just pointed out, yes, it's happening. It's happening off the side of somebody's desk. And we got, what, 16% of the, you know, the entire federal public sector workforce attending these uh, sessions. That's simply not good enough. But Brendan Gunn of the National Centre for Truth and Reconciliation says the government needs to look beyond just making Indigenous sensitivity training mandatory. It can also be included, though, especially in senior levels, in uh, performance evaluations, right? So as part of people's jobs, are they recognizing that they need to have this basic competency as part of delivering Canada's broader services and policy objectives towards reconciliation? In an emailed statement, Treasury Board told AP10 it is up to each individual government department whether or not Indigenous sensitivity training is a job requirement. Fraser Needham, AP10 National News, Ottawa.